Hey, it's Jeff again from RV Diagnostics. Uh, about multimeter use on ohm testing. We're going to talk about the scales. Some of them are automatic, some are manual selecting. Uh, the automatic ones today do very good at picking things up. They're faster, the sampling rate. Now, the old ones that came out back in the 80s and 90s weren't that fast. Uh, these new ones, even Fluke makes a fully automatic, non-selectable range ohms and voltage scale. What's that tell you? It's Fluke. All right, so here we go. we will turn this around. Show. All right, so first off, we're going to put it on ohms, upside down horseshoe. We're in the common and see the upside down horseshoe. Don't worry about the rest of them. All right. And then we're going to measure this. So I got one with an alligator on it that's holding it. We got an open circuit because it is. It's from here to this one. Watch, I'll touch it. Now the circuit's complete. All right, maybe I'll put the back light on. There you go. All right, so I got that. Now hold on, put you on hold. Okay, we're on two mega ohms. See it right there? Two million ohm scale. Now put it on there. Well, you know what? That's telling me I got a complete circuit. It doesn't tell me how many ohms is in there because the scale is too high. So this is a very low ohm reading. Now we already went over this one here. It's a 40 ohm coil, but we're going to show you the important part about selecting the proper scale. If you have a fully automatic one and a newer one, like 2005 up, they're doing really good. All right, so I'm going to touch the same thing again. All right, there you go. Well, it's telling me, let's see the digits, 0, 0, 0, 0.0. All right, the decimal there on the bottom to the left of the right-hand digit, 0. I'm going to go down to 20,000 ohms. All right, I'm going to select again on the solenoid. Well, it's telling me i got 40 ohms. 0 0.04 bouncing back between three and four 2000 scale we should get we're getting lower each time on a 2000 scale it's telling me i got 0 0.041 so it's looking like i got 41 ohms 200 scale that's 200 ohms max it can read 42.0 zero ohm so that's the most accurate scale now let's talk about this continuity and voltage tester now we got continuity and we have 41 ohms so one's continuity and 41 ohms it's pretty good folks that was just basic usage of a multimeter on the ohm scale. I know some people out there don't agree that some of these fully automatic auto-sensing multimeters are worth anything. But if they weren't, Fluke wouldn't be putting one out. And it's non-selectable ohms and voltage scale. Alright, so I'm telling you, these new ones are doing very good at auto-ranging. Um... Well, that's it, folks. This is a short video. It was on the use of a multimeter on the ohm scales. In future ones, I'll be using scaling on volts, AC and DC, and I'll be using amperage. All right. I would rather you learn how to use a clamp on amp meter, which I'll be going over those. All right. What's the motto of RV diagnostics? You're right. Test, not guess. What's my famous saying? What is it? Safe travels. Well, you can't fire burn bright till I see you again. Whether it's on here, the YouTube channel, whether it's on my Facebook page, RV Diagnostics and Troubleshooting, whether it's on my website, www.rvdiagnostics.com. That's a paid membership where you get one-on-one -on -one with me. Whether it's at the filling station loading up my big diesel pusher or your gasser whether it's at a campground or whether it's on the road. Thank you, folks. See you around.